Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here, finally bringing you what I bought for Christmas. Sorry this is coming up a little late, I did want to try to do it earlier, but now it's Christmas Eve and I gotta wrap all this stuff up. So I'm doing this now. Um, I will go over my budget with you first. So I originally had $128.31 in my gift sinking fund, which the gift sinking fund is for gifts all year long, but this is what we're working with right now for Christmas. And then I was going to add $30 during my um, December budget. So adding the $30, I had $158.31 to work with. Now I cheated a little bit by spending some stuff from some of my cash envelope categories. So tell me what you think about that down below. If you think this is uh, not exactly fair because I'm not working off of my gift fund or a smart way to kind of stretch my gift fund money out. Now, one of the biggest parts was that over the last two months I've been stocking up on on sale items to make cookies and stuff, which I posted a video all about the cost of it, and I'll try to make sure to link it up above with the I. And when I talked to you in that video, my total was $48.45. Now I since then have made a batch of Muddy Buddies. So I had a box of Czech cereal that was $1.99 on sale. And then I had to open up another thing of semi-sweet chocolate chips, which was $1.88 when I got it on sale. And then I had to also get another um, container from the Dollar Tree for more cookies. So I did bring my total up to $53.32 for all of the edibles and stuff like that that I made for other people. And I actually stretched it from 15 gifts to about 25 gifts. So that came out to about $213 per person, per gift. And then of course I had some communal items that I took and laid out and let people free range off of that. And so I have that 53.32 of which 42.32 was grocery money and $11 came from the Dollar Tree. And total for the Dollar Tree, um, in my list of stuff, my Dollar Tree total comes out to 16.79, which includes some of that because it includes packaging. It includes packaging for the cookies and then these little containers that I'm going to pack some homemade items that I made for my mom and my sisters and these, these cute little boxes. It came two for a dollar. There was another one nestled inside of there. It come with little lids. Since I need to get wrapping, I'm just going to do this, tape it down. It'll be good to go. And then it included also getting, they have their greeting cards. So I got Christmas cards for two for a dollar. 50 cents each so I got some of those um, one to put some to put gift cards in and then just a couple other that I got for my boyfriend's parents and my boyfriend himself and so I spent a couple of dollars on that so Dollar Tree $16.79 came from the actual gift budget and then like I said the $42.32 for the cookies and stuff from the grocery budget now I also made a handmade item for my friend and a handmade item for three of the women at the church that I do sound at. And then I'm going to also, I also made a handmade item, a hand stamped item for my mom and my sisters. Now my mom's keychain actually was a display item that I was using at the market that I was already planning on eventually giving her. I don't know if maybe she's seen it already, but it had my sister's name on it. I just had to add my name on a penny. I do have those things on my Etsy that I have in the description, but that's pretty much all I have on there right now. But I have hand stamped other things. But these pennies are the name, and usually a little heart, and then it's the birth year. The penny is the birth year of the person. So I'm going to try to show you some of the handmade items I made for Christmas. So this is the keychain that says Mom. Just a hand stack keychain with a little, um, heart right there and then it has the pennies on there for me and my sisters. I still have to add mine. So here's what mine looks like and I still have to drill a little hole up there and add it to the key ring. And then my sister said something about wanting one with her name on it. So I made both my twin sisters um, 
I made them each one with their names on it. I just need to drill a hole and add a little jump ring. And then for my friend, I did dog tags for his two dogs. So that's just kind of what it looked like. And then for the woman at the church, I made these little brooches. So those are hand stamped stars on the brooches and then the little crosses that I added with a jump ring. I just thought that'd be a cute little gift for the pastor and a couple of the other women at the church. With those items, they actually came from my budget um, for my business, my little craft business. Uh, I did have to buy a couple of items, but they were going to go into my inventory, so I did use it from the checking for my business, my checking account for that. And I'm not sure how I should count it, if there's some way to deduct it. Do, you, do any of you know about the small business kind of stuff like that? Like, leave a comment down below, because I really don't know how you, do I have to pay myself for it? Or do I pay myself for the supplies that I used? I'm not sure what to do when I'm giving gifts that I made that really is just costing me my time and effort, but is from the inventory of my business. So right now those count as zero as far as the gifts go, which is why I'm including those just to kind of give a little bit more this season. My grandparents, usually I just uh, go in on my mom with a gift for them. So she picked up sausage and crackers for my grandpa, which is a typical gift for him, and then some bath items. My grandma loves her baths, so some bath items for my grandma, just like those little $5 spa packages that have like bubble bath, maybe a loofah or things like that. So I gave her $12 for the both of them. My sisters, uh, I told them I don't really have much. I got $20 for the budget. I just told them how much my budget was for them. So they asked for gift cards instead of anything specific. And that was the easy route. <laughs> so I went with that. The one wanted a gift card for Ulta because she likes her, you know, she likes her makeup. And the other one said Target or Best Buy. So I got her a little Best Buy card. So I put $20 on each of those. And I did get a um, little Christmas card for the, that'll hold those cards in there for them but that's not included towards their amount. And now what I am including towards the amount is not the taxes. So if I'm saying I'm budgeting, say I'm gonna budget 25 for my mom, I'm doing that pre-tax. And of course, when I'm budgeting as far as what's coming out of my gift money, I am including the tax, but as far as what I wanna get for them, it's pre-tax. So my mom was a $25 limit and a few, like two months ago maybe even, it was a while ago. And I'll try to link that video up here as well. It was one of my grocery haul videos. I got Wonder Woman on Blu-ray. And the only reason I did that, cause this is $28 in the first place. But I had a $13 in-app coupon for Albertsons to, so $13 off, bringing a Blu-ray, new Blu-ray down to $15. So I grabbed that for my mom. $15 left me with $10 for her. So she said that she wanted some pajama bottoms. So Walmart, I think, is a pretty good place to find pajama bottoms. They're relatively cheap, and yet they're good quality, I think. I've had mine for a while. I have a couple pairs. So I found this cute uh, Mickey and Minnie pajama bottoms there for her which means I came in right on budget for my mom at $24.97 pre-tax, $27.05 after tax. Little sister, she's getting a $25 uh, limit and I almost kept to it this time, but not quite. So it was a $25 limit and I went a dollar over. I got her this last year because I got a toothbrush set and then I was gonna keep this and give it to her on her birthday completely forgot. So this is kind of free, except that I spent money on it last year. It's just a little electronic toothbrush with Monster High. So I'm not counting that in there. And then I got her this $3 Hatchimal bath bomb. I thought that would be pretty cool. We're going to go with like a kind of bathroom theme here with most of this. And I got these $1 each 
bathtub finger paint soaps. They're sea green and tickle me pink. So these are just a little $1 items. So that's $5 right there. So I said I want to spend $25. Well, the big item she wanted, and I got this because she actually really wanted it, and I also kind of like it. So instead of getting a few little items, since she truly wanted this, I got it for her. Now this was 1967, so it was almost $20 of the $25 budget, which is why I just got those other little items to make up the other five. And then of course this cute little Ariel that, oops, that also goes into the tub. Um, so her fins like move around and everything. So I had it. I was at 25. I was actually at 24.67. But then when I took her to the Dollar Tree with me one time, she really decided that she liked this thing. And I pretended to put it back on the shelf, but I bought it for her. And I just thought it was a really cute... Does a little prayer. Prayer bear. Amen. So... I went ahead and got that for her. So I went a dollar over $25.67, but that's all right. That's not too bad. $27.81 with tax, and that is her. Now, my boyfriend, this is where I definitely kind of cheated a little bit. And to get him some extra items, I decided his would be about $30, $35 is kind of what I was going for, is $35. So what I did for him to kind of give him a little bit more was take it from other categories. So starting with clothing, I took something from clothing, got him some more white socks, a six pack of white socks. This was $9.98 and actually $10.80 after taxes. So I got him these socks from there. And then I think I was talking about it in my Sam's haul. Um, I did have to borrow some money from the hair fund to put into the household fund because this item is technically something I would get from household and it's been on the list for a while so it is at the top of the list but I just didn't have enough quite yet but it was on sale and it's Christmas so I borrowed money from one of the other funds and so this is technically out of the household fund it was $42.28 five dollars off meaning it was $37.28 coming out to $40.38 after tax and it's just this giant pack of razor blades because he really needed some razor blades. But it's a lot and it's going to last quite a while. I know 40 bucks is a lot, but this will, this will last a while. And it was a household item, so it came out of the household fund. And then I just thought, I saw this and I thought it was cute. So I took it from the grocery fund and it was $1.99. And it's just these little Reese's miniature cups here. So this is just a cute little gift. I'm not even going to wrap it. It's, you know, it's almost like a little wrapping in itself. And then his big gift was I took him to Star Wars. Now, uh, my friend told me that the theaters are now doing $5 Tuesdays. So I got his tickets for just $10. But the snacks came out to $18.25. So it was $28.25, which is fine. That was like pretty much my big gift to him was to take him to see the new Star Wars movie. So that was a majority of it. And then with the little bit that I had left, I wanted to at least get him something else that wasn't just, you know, household clothing, that kind of stuff. So I had gone to the local, like, it's like a discount bookstore or, you know, just like the local used bookstore. There you go, that's what I'm looking for. So this item was $17.50 used, but uh, I used my mom's account and she has a huge, like, she has a huge credit with them and they also give you 75% off when you have credit with them. So with the 75% off, out of pocket, for this $17.50 item, I paid $4.81 and that's with tax and everything. I think it was $4.44. 41 with tax and it was the Lord of the Rings trilogy books I Keep wanting to chop stuff So the Lord of the Rings trilogy book 481 and so this is his like star item that I got him And then I just got him a little Christmas card and everything too so 
out of the actual gift fund, I managed to spend $32.69 on him. Um, after taxes, it was $33.06. So that was under my $35 budget for him. But, of course, I spent like $53 or something like that from different other categories in my cash envelopes on him. But it's still, um, I don't know what you think about that. I was just trying to stretch it and it's stuff I was going to need to get him eventually soon anyways. So what do you think about that? Now for the grand total. Alright, so I said I had $158.31. And I spent from the gift fund $156.69, meaning I have $1.62 left to put back towards to put back into my sinking fund for gifts so that I can fund any birthdays and stuff that are coming up, which my boyfriend's birthday is in January, so, and also one of my best friends. So I'll have to figure that out. Got a dollar sixty-two, can start refunding that back up. And of course, for the cookies and for my boyfriend groceries, I spent forty-four thirty-one. Clothing I spent the ten eighty, and then household I spent forty thirty-eight. So while I spent only $156.69 from gifts, I spent a grand total of $252.18 on Christmas gifts overall. And that was including giving to 25 people the cookies and other foods, and then giving to my close, to my family, and then a couple of friends. So what do you think about that? Do you think, have you ever taken from like your other cash envelopes? And have you made homemade items for people as well? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I will link the buttons up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.